Hey guys, what's up? I am John Merritt from borntoproduce.com and I want to welcome you to the short overview of our new skill sets tutorial on electronic drums. So, how important are drums? Well, whether it's a pounding dance floor track or a complex and ethereal ride, drums literally provide the heartbeat of your song. They define the energy behind your tracks. You may have the best vocal and melodies in the world, but if you don't get the drums right, your tracks are going to lack vitality and lack the all-important energy of modern dance music. But if you get it right, then your tracks will shine. They will have that vitality and brilliance, and your tracks will stand out and be noticed. But herein lies the rub. Drums are one of the most important aspects of your productions to get right, but it's also very easy to get it wrong, especially if you're not sure exactly what you're doing. So over this five hour tutorial, I'm going to show you the tools and techniques that you need to create your own grooves from scratch and how to process these grooves to get them to sit right in your mix. And this applies no matter what program you make your music in. We'll start with a look at kick synthesis, how to analyze a kick and the tools you can use to create and modify them. We'll be looking at the importance of tuning your kick and the simple ways in which you can analyze the pitch and how to change it. We'll go through a few different kick styles and we'll see how easy it is to create different kind of kick sounds using the amp and pitch modulation on your drum synth. We're then going to have a look at layering kick sounds. We'll look in greater depth at tuning and we'll look at the tools and processes you can use to successfully layer different kicks together. We'll also go over the often overlooked process of varying the attack of your layered sounds, which can save you a massive headache when it comes to mixing your tracks later down the line. After kicks, we'll take a look at layering more harmonically complex sounds like snares and percussion. We'll be looking at why some sounds work together and why some don't, so you'll be in a much better position to pick sounds to layer for your own productions. We'll try layering with some more obscure sounds that can yield more unique results, and I'll show you a way to make a chosen drum sound fatter and fuller than the rest. Once we've looked at creating sounds, I'll take you through the tools available to you in your door of choice and the techniques you can use to shape each and every drum sound to fit perfectly in your track, whether that's tightening it up, bringing it forwards in the mix, or making it sound fuller. We'll look at when to use multiband processes over single band, and I'll show you how to easily use multiband effects. I know a lot of you are unsure about multiband effects, but seriously, don't be afraid. They're properly awesome when you know what to do with them. Then we're on to rhythm. Now, I don't find it too helpful to go over in great detail the music theory of rhythm and groove. So we'll start with a brief overview of rhythm with examples of different aspects and a look at the structure of grooves. Then we go straight into making some different beats. We make a house beat, a drum and bass beat, a techno beat, and throughout I'll show you some of the easiest ways to create variation add humanization to make your grooves come alive, and how to create complexity in simple, easy to follow steps. We'll be looking at creative ways in which you can create new grooves out of the ones you have made, and how to easily modify those grooves to have a completely different rhythmic feel to them. After we've had an in-depth look at creating our own grooves, we'll then look at the best way to use third-party loops. Now, just slapping a third-party loop over the top of your track rarely just works, so I'll show you how to extract the best bits and how to make them sound unique. We'll look more in-depth at using gate plugins, and we'll look at the various processes you can use to help your loops fit in with the rest of your track. Lastly, we'll take the house, drum and bass, and techno beats we made earlier and go through each one individually and look at the different processing techniques and tools you can use to get them to work together as a whole we will be looking at a whole load of processes like getting your kick to cut through the mix, making an already great sounding snare sound even faster, giving your hats the perfect punchiness every time, to name just a few. We'll also be looking at modulation processes to keep your drums interesting throughout the mix and how to add extra rhythm to chosen elements. We'll look at drum bus and group processing to get your drums to sound tighter, like they belong together. And we'll look at parallel processing to give your drums a more full sound, a more aggressive sound, and at the extreme, a completely different tonality on selected drum parts. So that is just a very brief overview of what you're gonna learn over the 12 lessons of this course. If you want to improve your production skills, then go to borntoproduce.com right now and get started. 
So that's it from me. Thank you for watching. I wish you the best of luck in your productions. Bye for now.